It's a foggy morning today. Good morning, this is Brad, Bigfoot Running. It's Tuesday morning and Buddy and I are getting out for a run. There's a bit of fog around this morning. Yeah, interesting morning. A fair bit of fog. I'm leaving a bit later than normal. I was actually very close to taking today as a bit of a, a rest day, a sleep in. Um, what I might do though is We'll see how we go. We'll go for a run now, um, but there's a chance I might even go for a bit of a double up after school. A bit of an Anstey who run after school. So we'll get Buddy out this morning and then uh, we'll see where the day takes us. You ready, Buddy? Yeah, across the road. Oh, sit. Good boy. So yeah, definitely wasn't expecting to see fog this morning. Had some warm weather lately. There's more forecast for the week. It's a nice morning. We'll see how this guy behaves today. It was a bit naughty yesterday. So we've just reached the end of what I call the magic carpet. And we're about to hit the turnaround point. But he's been pretty good today. Still pulling at cars and trucks a bit, but hey, it's not going to end it's overnight. Something he's going to have to grow out of though. Yesterday, um, I went back to pinning him to the ground. No chasing trucks. So without hurting him or anything, just getting him to sit and then pinning him to the ground. Just to let him know it's not okay. He knows. But yeah, just gotta keep reinforcing it when he when he really goes for a truck or a bus or whatever. Yesterday it was motorbikes and trucks. Today we've come across a few buses. Not too bad though. All right, buddy, you've had a sniff. All right, mate, come on. You ready? Yeah? All right, let's go. I'm not sure I'll be able to unlock my phone again. It's uh, a bit foggy. So yeah, the, uh, the moisture on the touch screen's making it a bit difficult to unlock. So yeah, just in case, we'll leave it there. Just another magic carpet loop this morning, me and Buddy. Bit of fog out and about. It's a nice morning. My legs felt kind of dead yesterday. Ah, oh, now we're carrying a poo bag. I'll leave you with that view behind. My legs felt kind of dead yesterday, but uh, feeling pretty well recovered today, which was good signs. I'm just gonna pick up this present and take it to the next bin. But you have a great Tuesday and i'll uh, see you tomorrow or this afternoon poor buddy that stinks all right hey this is brad bigfoot running so uh at anstey hill just having a bit of a stretch before i head out for a loop uh, went out for a run this morning so this is a bit of a double up and the plans to do at least eight kilometers to round out the day to 20 k's so yeah we'll just continue our stretch and then we'll head out for a uh, bit of a boundary loop, wherever I feel like going basically. Hope you had a good day today. Let's hit it. All right, we're gonna head up this way today towards the ruins, past the graffiti pipe. If I think back to my uh, First year in this running journey, running Anstey Hill. I used to run up this way towards the, the ruins a lot. And at first it was quite difficult running the whole way without stopping. So that was a bit of a challenge that I used to work towards. Now it's not so challenging. 
But I remember learning one of my favorite lessons where instead of looking at the horizon and focusing on that, you look down towards the ground, focusing on your next few steps. And that's definitely a rule you can apply to everything. Don't get too caught up in those long distance goals. Instead, focus on the more immediate footsteps to get there. So there you go. And this is where I kind of realized that myself. Because if I used to, if I was looking up there back when I first get started, around now, I'd be thinking, oh, I better have a rest. Where if we focus down there, I'm going to be used to, I used to say to myself, I bet I can get to that bit of bark. I bet I can get to that twig without stopping. Can I get to that rock without stopping? That tree? Yeah, of course I can. And before you know it, you're there. Try it. And if you have to slow down or pace yourself, it's better than quitting. So again, before you decide to make that call to, to quit on something, there's an infinite number of other things you can do. It's very windy. It's very windy this afternoon. afternoon enjoying a bit of golden hour yeah Gotta pay attention up here. It's a long way down. There you go. All right, we'll leave it there for today. Pretty good day of running. Got out this morning when I didn't really feel like it. And then this afternoon when I felt like it. So satisfying day all round. Only a few weeks to go to the Heisen. So yeah, got to make the most of it. Got to say, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling ready. Just uh, starting to get the mind there. Um, doing those last sort of pieces of fine tuning and making sure I'm organized and yeah feeling pretty ready for it this year um, and once again my goal is to finish it hopefully get a personal best time not really trying to set any records or beat anyone and just looking for a really good adventure and hopefully meet some uh some cool people along the way so if you happen to see me out there by the way for, you know make sure you say g'day um because yeah, we're all in it together, all right? So have a great Tuesday, whatever day it is where you are, and we'll see you tomorrow. This is Brad, Bigfoot Running, signing out.